Y'all already know it's your boy Afro Yonko here to hit you with the Yami. Know I mean? On top of the Yami know I mean? with a little bit of the Yami know I mean mixed in, Yami. You know I mean? How perplexed are you? Alright, now y'all know we haven't gotten a whole lot of information or new articles on Sifu, especially not from Slow Clap. But on May 7th, Game Rant did drop a new article, but it's much like these videos I've been making. A whole lot of speculation and hype because we're excited. But I do want to apologize to y'all because in my last video, I was talking about how I was curious about how the customization was going to go in Sifu. Was it going to be like SSX Tricky where you can just change the outfit? Or was it going to be like Cyberpunk where you can change virtually everything, including genitals? I'm never gonna be off that. Either way, it seems like some kind of mashup. Some like SSS Cyber Tricky 2077X. Corny? Yeah, I know. Point is, it'll basically be like SSX Tricky except you can choose the gender of the main character. Other than that, it doesn't seem like customization is gonna be that in depth. Which is cool with me because I'm picking this game up for top tier kung fu action. And it seems like that's what we are gonna get. Plus it's lit that they give the option for the main character being a woman, considering the fact that one of the most popular Kung Fu styles all time, Wing Chun, was developed by a woman and passed down to many people, including the legendary Ip Man, who taught many of students, including the one and only Bruce the Dragon Lee. Also, real quick, speaking of the female version of the main character, I know I said I wanted more new gameplay that wasn't just the clips slash sneak peeks we were getting on Twitter from Slow Clap, but uh, last week's clip, and Shorty was going crazy in the midnight club scene. Let's talk about it, shall we? First off, she was getting wild busy. But now that the obvious comment is out the way, did y'all peep that the first dude's leg was on fire when she stopped that kick? Aside from making me wonder if Shorty is fire resistant, it made me wonder, are there special abilities throughout the seafood world? Are these henchmen and women students of these different assassins? In turn, do their abilities vary like the different assassins' abilities and styles? Is this game about everyone trying to prove that their kung fu style is superior to the others? Are you a nerd like me? Have you watched a ton of kung fu movies like Ip Man and the Grand master like I have? If the answer to that question is yes, then this concept is probably not very foreign to you. My assumption between the facts that these folks are wearing red and homeboy's leg being on fire, these must be fire assassin henchmen. We also get to see what looks like a takedown. So the question we don't have to ask is, does it matter what element these flunkies fight with or who taught them? Because the answer to that is f no. <clears throat> Now going back to the article that I mentioned at around 16 to 17 seconds into this video, it was brought up that it was unclear whether or not Sifu will have an open world. Now one of my most recent videos, I'm not even gonna hold y'all, I jumped the gun by saying, We know Sifu will most likely not be an open world game of any kind. It's possible I was tripping. The article makes good points that support Sifu being an open world game. We know the city is fictional and that there will be many different settings and buildings and probably some skyscrapers. But I do agree with my man Stan that it would be cool if while playing Sifu, there would be side quests and interesting shops and people to meet throughout the world that would keep us engaged. Especially if you gained a lot of new skills or abilities while exploring. Now, the article also mentions that Sifu could stand to be a little bit more accessible than Absolver so that some players won't get too frustrated by the steep learning curve. Now I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I kinda like that aspect of just being thrown in and trying to figure it all out. But I also agree that everyone doesn't feel the same way. So the best idea? Probably to give us a choice of using a tutorial or not. I mean your lives are limited so, you know what I mean? Gotta use them shits wisely. It's also discussed in the article that Absolver received criticism for its lack of emphasis on the story. Now it's highly unlikely that that would be the case this time because, I mean, this game is very story based. But with that being said, it's not like we haven't seen things put out that were story driven that was kinda ass. Just ask the creators of Time Trap. Regardless though, it's lit that Sony is showing interest in Sifu because PlayStation exclusives are almost always top tier. And if y'all didn't see Slow Claps new Twitter post on Sifu today, you should definitely go check out their page because they let you know that just because you throw an object at an enemy, does not mean that shit is gonna connect. But all that aside y'all, we're about a month out of E3. So my guess at this point is that we will get more info on Sifu when that comes out, hopefully release date. But y'all know I can't wait for this game. I'm sure y'all can't either. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all like more videos like this, we covering Sifu here. And then when it comes out, we're gonna play it on the channel. I might play another action adventure, hand-to-hand -hand combat game while I also give you Sifu vids. Cause I'm gonna be honest, Lost Judgment looks crazy, but we'll talk about that on another day. I'm gonna catch y'all next time, alright? Peace.